because if you probe it, you don't get that intimate contact between that pressure-sensitive adhesive and the substrate. So we do want to use a 150-pound roller to get that good bond into the <laughs> surface of the substrate. Okay, now, as he's doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my audience. And I want to say, and see, that's a problem. You, know, you never sit in the front row. So, come on, man. Let's, 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 let's ask some people from the audience show how easy this is to put down. See, sitting in the front row again. <laughs> okay, we're just going to flip this back. We're going to do the exact same thing. And the contractors that I see, really, it, it is an extremely quick learning curve. It's really not very difficult to put down. So we're going to do the same thing. Now, have you guys ever installed an SATTPO before? No, neither of them have. So we're going to see how they do here. So once again, they're pulling off the release liner. Now see, these guys are real roofers though, so they know what they're doing. Yeah, okay, now let's say, no, 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 um, that's all right. Don't worry about it, Mike. Look at that. Once again, no problem at all. So that's how easy it is. So anyway, this, this product is going to be available um, April 1st through Carlisle, through your friendly Carlisle rep. So look for it um, being released. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna, I, like I said, I, got, I, I love talking about that. I've got so much stuff to talk and I, and I don't want to go over my time. So the next thing I'm going to talk about in a little bit is Rhino Bond. And I, you know, I walk around the show a little bit and I see Rhino Bond like everywhere. I mean, it's just everywhere. Um, but what I'm going to talk about today is some different ways that you might be able to use the Rhino Bond technology in conjunction maybe with standard mechanically fastened systems to improve your production on more standard type projects. Go ahead, Tony. I think, does everybody here know what Rhino Bond is? And if, because if, if you don't, just go over to the OMG booth and they'll tell you more about Rhino Bond than you probably ever wanted to know. So, um, but anyway, it's, it's simply, it simply uses coated plates and an induction welder like we have sitting right back there is right on that, uh, on that slide. And what happens is the induction welder heats up the metal, melts the adhesive and sticks to the bottom side, whether it's TPO or PVC. Go ahead. And the advantage of this, it's typically installed in a grid type pattern. And what it does is you see the slide right here on the left hand side is the Rhino Bond in the grid pattern. On the right hand side is a standard mechanically fastened system. And you can see under wind uplift conditions, you have much less fluttering or billowing in the membrane with Rhino Bond. That's a big advantage of it. To me, the big advantage to the contractor is the ability to dry in large areas of your project quickly. What can happen is, especially if you're tearing off, um, you, it, the standard mechanically fastened system, I compare Rhino Bond to a, a, a temporary ballasted EPDM system. You imagine you get those 50 by 200 sheets, you throw them out, over, get everything dried in, you put a couple piles of rock here and there to hold it in place, then once everything's all dried in, you have your crew come back and spread that rock out. This is the same way. If you're tearing off, you can get everything covered up, everything watertight, weld a couple of the plates here and there to hold it all in place. Then what happens is, once you get it all dried in, then you send the guys back to start doing all those welds. And the other advantage of it is, if it's a, a day that you wouldn't typically tear off, um, like it's maybe misting out or you have a lot of moisture around, that Rhino Bond tool will weld through that moisture. So you can have guys up there working, even if they're not doing um, new roofing. They can be finishing up some of the sections that you already have dried in. Um, the other thing I always get asked is, is Rhino Bond less expensive than to install the standard mechanically fastened system? Then I talk to a lot of contractors. That's uh, I talk to a lot of contractors, and I'll just give you, you know, the typical answer. They, you know, every contractor is different, but what I typically hear is it's somewhere in between the two systems, the mechanically fastened and fully adhered as far as install costs. There are contractors that can that's the claim they can do it faster and less expensive with a standard Rhino Bond than a standard mechanically fastened system. It's all crew dependent, it's all how they have their system down installing it. But typically, I get that, that uh, comment that it's somewhere in between. Go ahead, Tony. But what I want to talk about now is, let's talk about some different ways we can use Rhino Bond. Metal retrofit, okay. Metal retrofit, there's tons of metal out there that's going out of service life. How do we go up there and re-roof it? Um, I am not a proponent of fastening, mechanically fastening, single ply, TPO, or PVC membrane into light gauge corroded sanding seal metal. Number two reasons, number one, you don't get your pull out. Number two, you don't get your back out. Because if you have that membrane up there moving around, you can just fasten starting to back out. Not a good thing. I want to fasten that membrane into the structural purlins. 
The issue is Portland, as you know, are usually five feet on center. So in most areas of the country, we go in the field of the roof, we go every other purlin. Okay, so now I'm 10 feet on center, I get my membrane, and in order to be able to catch every other purlin, I need an 11-foot wide sheet. Well, nobody makes an 11-foot wide sheet. Well, there's a couple ways that we can resolve that. One, what we see right here, use the pressure sensor we call rust strip. And uh, what you would do there is fasten those rust strips into the structural purlins to which you want to fix your membrane. Um, so that's one way to do it. Go ahead, Tony. Now, just imagine, okay, now, we're a contractor, we got the rhino bond tool, what can we do? Let's take those rust strips off, let's replace the rust strips with the rhino bond plates. Now we put the rhino bond plates over those purlins to which we want to secure the membrane, and then we go back and do our welding on top of that. Go ahead. And what we're gonna do, what I want to show you right now is, okay, how does that, how's that gonna save you money? We're gonna look here, just at material costs, okay? On the rust strip type metal retrofit system versus rhino bond. So let's just go through a real quick example. On the left hand side, we're going to look at a 100 by 200 foot building, 20,000 square feet. So what we're going to do is we look at the left hand side is a 10 inch rust. So we need 2,000 lineal feet of rust because we're going every other rut, every other um, parlament. We need eight gallons of TPO primer. We need 2,000 plates and we need 2,000 fasteners to secure into that parlament. Okay, as comparison, if we do it with rust, all we need is 2,000 rust. 2000, I'm sorry, if we do it with Rhino Bond, all we need is 2,000 Rhino Bond plates, 2,000 fasteners. And what does that do for you? This is only material cost. That is a cost savings of almost 20 cents per square foot over the entire roof area by replacing a rust strip with the Rhino Bond system. And you know, everybody in here also realized that, you know, we argue about a penny on membrane here and there. This is 20 cents a square foot over that whole thing. It's huge savings. Okay, a couple other cool things that you can do. Now imagine, we're doing standard mechanically fastened system, but you have the Rhino Bond technology. So let's see what we can do to, run, to incorporate some of this technology into some other type of attachment method. So let's look at the base of a parapet. How do we do that right now? We have two choices. Number one, we can cut a separate wall flashing, hang our wall flashing out over our field, make our weld on the other side of the screws and plates. The other thing that we can do is we can use what we have like right here, the rust strip. We can do that so we can run a continuous piece of membrane up that wall. That's really our two choices. So once again, let's think about taking those two options, but let's replace that rust strip with rhino bond plates. So now instead of using a rust strip, we're going to go rhino bond plates, and let's look at the cost on this. So same kind of thing. If you look at a 100 by 200 foot building, you have 600 lineal feet of you need to attach that perimeter at that angle change. So we need 600 feet of rust strip. We need a gallon of primer. We need 600 plates. We need 600 fasteners. And on the right hand side, if we do the same thing but use rhino bond, we need 600 rhino bond plates, 600 fasteners. And if we take the, the cost, the difference in cost, once again, only material cost, and divide that over the entire area of the building, just by changing that perimeter or the angle change procurement, we're saving over three cents a square foot over the entire roof area by doing that. And then you can take it even another, another step. What you can do is, imagine in the perimeter, if so you're doing standard mechanically fastened system, in the perimeter, you gotta use narrow sheets. So either you use narrow sheet, or you somehow split the sheet with screws and plates, but once again, instead of doing that, use Rhino Bond, on, on just in the perimeter. So you could be using standard mechanically fastened system in the field of the roof, you could use Rhino Bond at your angle change at the, at the parapet, and also split all your perimeter sheets. Once again, just a way to make you more competitive um, on, on the installed cost. Okay. So, um, what I want to do right now is, we're actually going to do another little demo. This is considered a live demo, so I'm sure you're probably tired of looking at PowerPoint and listening to me talk. So what we're going to do is, I got some more of my trusty assistants are going to come up here. We got, we got John and John, okay. Um, what these guys are going to do is, they're actually going to, we're actually going to install 10 feet of perimeter secured TPO membrane. And on the left hand side, um, what can I call you John? John, okay, I, I won't, okay. He's going to actually install this, this uh, particular flashing with the standard rust type detail. On the right hand side, we're going to use Rhino Bond. So it'll kind of give you an idea, not only do we have big, big um, material savings, um, we're also going to have big labor savings. So I'm going to get out of the way right now, and I'm going to let them go ahead and just do this 10 foot side by side. We'll kind of have a little race here, okay? We'll see who can do, who can do the, um, the area very quick. Okay, that's the go, whenever you're ready. Okay, so, like I said, on the right-hand side here, John is just going to tack this membrane up the parapet wall. Hopefully he won't hit his face. Oh, 